A few days ago, we put up a video showing a uh, load cell, which is a collection of four strain gauges on a uh, solid piece of metal. And the four strain gauges are going to change resistance as we bend this piece of metal with an applied force. The strain gauges are arranged in a bridge format so that as the strain gauges change resistance, we get an imbalance of the bridge circuit. Normally, that produces a voltage signal that's in the millivolt range, just a handful of millivolts. However, in this case, we connected it to an instrumentation amplifier to boost that signal into something that's much closer to about a, a half a volt or so. We are using a model INA126 instrumentation amplifier, which contains most of this inside of one chip. There is one external resistance that we connect to it to set the overall gain. There's a gain formula that comes with this particular instrumentation amplifier. It's 80,000 ohms divided by our gain resistor, plus 5 is the overall closed loop voltage gain. The chip itself is actually an 8-pin integrated circuit right there. You can see we've got a pair of 1K resistors in parallel, making 500 ohms as our gain resistance. And so if you look at the formula here, 80,000 divided by 500 is a ratio of 160. Plus 5 gives us 165. So we have a closed loop gain here of 165. So if we have a 1 millivolt drop across our bridge, we'll get 165 millivolts measured on the output. Now another benefit of the instrumentation amplifier is that it takes this um, elevated voltage signal here, the common mode voltage, removes the common mode voltage, so all we have is a simple signal with reference to ground, which is very convenient. <coughs> so here we go. Um, Luke here, who built the circuit, is going to demonstrate applying force to the load cell. And right now we've got his voltmeter measuring about 30 millivolts in uh, no strain condition, so no uh, applied force. So go ahead and push down on the end of that, and we'll see what the meter does. I say the meter is going here, yeah, about a half a volt. And then go ahead and pull up on it, and we should see the polarity change. There we go, about 0.3 volts positive. So that's with a gain of about 165. So it's a much, much smaller millivoltage signal coming off of the span of that load cell bridge being amplified by the instrumentation amplifier now to a much stronger signal that would be more suitable for measurement with an analog to digital converter or a voltmeter or any other sort of voltage indicating device.